could that be in such a late hour? It is I, dastardly death grip. Boo! <laughs> Boo to you too. <laughs> Why, Miss Death Grip, how may I help you? Why, Miss Trudy, how very lovely you look this evening. I'm sure you know why I am here. Your father, God bless his soul, made a deal with the devil, so to speak. <laughs> I'm afraid it is now time for me to collect, and you and your mother, the widow Trueheart, must vacate the premises by midnight tomorrow, according to the terms of your dear departed father's agreement. Now tell me, my sweet do you have the money? Indeed, I have told you, I will not have the money. You must allow me more time when our cotton crop comes in. Then we shall pay you every cent we owe. No, no, I must remind you of the terms of our agreement. You and your mother may continue to reside here only if you agree to become my wife. The missus, dastardly death grip. <laughs> 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 Is Trudy and his everything all right in there? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, a million times no. I shall never be your... I shall never marry you, Mr. Death Grip. Alas, I shall be forced to vacate these premises to the nearest poorhouse and there reside of my honor intact. Now, now, let's not be too hasty. Perhaps a compromise can be reached. Perhaps you have another offer, Mr. Deathbird. No, that is my final offer. Take it or suffer the blows of fate. <laughs> Dastardly, you shall not add your ways with this fair damsel in distress. Not as long as gainly good guy. <laughs> <laughs> What can be done so that we may be reside here in purity and honor? Alas, sorrowful was the day that my dear departed dad dealt that dastardly deal. But wait, I have noticed on the way into your abode that you have a good cotton crop just standing in the field. It seemed that it, rather than you, was ready for the picking. Perhaps I might do this <laughs> the aid of simple townsfolk, and we may all join in to have a cotton pick. Good time. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.